In this Sekiro Shadows Die Twice guide, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Finger Whistle. This is the eighth of ten such guides exploring every facet of these, from explaining just what each upgrade does to how they can best be utilized in combat. I've decided to do Finger Whistle next because it's another prosthetic tool that I was not overly familiar with. The Finger Whistle can be found within the Sunken Valley by defeating the Guardian Ape there. Upon defeat, he will drop the Slender Finger, and you can take this to the Sculptor to obtain this tool. The Finger Whistle is an extremely situational tool, but one that can be very useful if used correctly. You can use the Finger Whistle two different ways, with the first being to gain the attention of a single enemy. The reason you might want to do this is because sometimes it can be difficult to separate many enemies that are within aggro range of each other, and you might not want to fight them all at once. By locking onto the target and pressing R2, you can gain only their attention and they will begin to look for you. Note that they are still vulnerable to a stealth death blow in this state. Secondly, you can use the R2 not locked on to gain the attention of all enemies nearby. The only purpose of using it in this manner is to enrage animals, making them attack other enemies around them. There are several places in the game this comes in handy, but because animals are not overly hard to kill with shurikens, you may not use this function very often. The Mountain Echo works much the same way as the previous version, but it adds an additional function. Holding R2 will release a delayed whistle at the location you're standing after about 5 seconds. This serves two purposes. First, you can use it to grab the attention of a bunch of enemies to one spot so that you can AoE them or slip past them all at once. And second, you can use this locked on to select one single enemy that will then move to the location where the whistle takes place, allowing you to sneak up behind him and backstab Deathblow him more easily in some cases. Malcontent has the same functions as the Mountain Echo, but its whistle can be used to stun apparition-type enemies for a lengthy amount of time. These enemies include Headless, Shichiman Warrior, Oren of the Water, and Demon of Hatred. This allows you to take off about one entire health bar of each enemy without even having to move, and might be the easiest of all ways to deal with this group of enemies. Note that you can only use the Malcontent three times in a single encounter before the whistle will no longer be effective, so plan to use another prosthetic as well. Final Tips As one of the primary functions of the Finger Whistle is to pull enemies one at a time, it's no surprise that you can use it while hugging a wall. This allows you to do a stealth death blow as they come near, much the way the Ceramic Shard works. However, the Finger Whistle is much easier to use than the Ceramic Shard, and guarantees only one enemy will approach you at a time, even if they are tightly packed. The Finger Whistle is particularly good when mixed with the Divine Abduction prosthetic tool. This allows you the combination of pulling a tough enemy and then one-shotting him quickly with Divine Abduction, and then repeating this process if necessary. Sometimes you need to kill that one enemy quickly before patrolling enemies become aware of your presence, and if you can't get the Stealth Death Blow, Divine Abduction is a great secondary option. When using the Malcontent on Apparition-type bosses and mini-bosses, be sure to use it when they are not mid-animation for best results. Sometimes when they are in the middle of a lengthy attack, the Malcontent seems to do nothing, so be sure to wait for an opening to use it so that you don't waste Spirit Emblems or get hit while using it. The Malcontent might be the most effective way to take on Headless, as it can make rather short work of them, perhaps even more easily than the Umbrella or the Lazulite Sacred Flame. This method requires Divine Confetti, but you can pull it off with just one if you are fast enough, and you absolutely shouldn't need more than two tops. Lastly, when using this item on the Demon of Hatred, be sure to save it for the last phase. This is the most chaotic of the three, and using the Malcontent here will all but wipe it out without having to worry about the erratic attacks he does. Save 12 Spirit Emblems and just burn him down and use Divine Confetti for an even faster burn. Stay tuned for more prosthetic tool guides, and be sure to check out our boss and beginner guides if you need more help with the game.